Not coming down. You're getting the maximum amount of days twinkling that twinkling colored lights. <laughs> How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. Uh. Mm. Okay, it's um January 4th. It's Thursday. Yay. <laughs> Getting away from a little bit of the, the the it just has that weird New Year's feel to things where people are That's, uh, it's like the new car smell for the New Year's. Okay, a uh, little vlog, a little news. Uh, vlog, I don't know. Surgeon. Surgeon. Oh, now you brought it up. Yeah, I have a little bit of a procedure coming up on the 11th. And then birthday, I'm going to get old. I just think about how old, old I am. I get so old. And um, numbers and... Um, yeah, so... The Fibonacci sequence. I was looking up and... In my internet research of numbers, I have discovered there is an infinite number of numbers. That's right. <laughs> Does it work? An infinite number of numbers. Nice. What? Gosh. Okay, and so there's a giant rainstorm coming up. Uh, there. Well. It's going to be rainy a couple of days on the weekend. And it's going to take a break. And then it's going to rain even harder for a couple of days because there's like this rain thing coming in. So right now it's the calm between the storm. And there's going to be no trade winds for about a month. <laughs> it's going to be weird and humid and just, I don't know, more weird. So uh, on the big scene of national news we got trump and his lawyers and trump's in the courtroom and he's campaigning i guess from the courtroom with his tweets and his truth social he's already uh, uh given up proof that uh, the truth social says he's got the proof that 2020 election was rigged because he had found a or developed a PDF file. <laughs> so I got a wrote, a wrote a letter. It was wrong. And, man. So that's your proof. She told me. She told you. That yeah, was about the size of it. He's like saying it was it was big because I say so. And so that, anyways, it's it's going nowhere with that. And the um. The other thing is, is he on the ballot or off the ballot? So the Colorado one, he is off the ballot. He is asking the United States Supreme Court to put him back onto the Colorado ballot. Now, when Colorado ballot took him off, it went up to the state Supreme Court. It says, yeah, we'll leave you off unless it goes up to the Supreme Court. And then you're back on. So if it goes up to the Supreme Court, He's automatically back on the ballot until the Supreme Court says he's off the ballot. Makes sense? <laughs> I know, yeah. He's like, what? But anyways, it's probably not a um, like a really great thing that it's going up to the United States Supreme Court for them because they're trying to argue stuff like the uh, insurrection was not an insurrection, therefore. You know, I'm not in violation of that Fourth Amendment, Chapter 3 rule, or whatever it is, Section 3. If I took a vote of office, and then I was involved in an insurrection, I cannot hold public office. But if it's not an insurrection, then I took an oath of office and I didn't participate because it wasn't an insurrection. So they're trying to argue that what happened on January 6th wasn't an insurrection. Because lawyers do that. They have, here's the word, and what's the definition of the word? 
Your definition is different from our definition, Your Honor. Make a ruling. Lawyers are get definitions down beforehand. So they're arguing the definition of insurrection and January 6th wasn't an insurrection. Therefore, United States Supreme Court now decide that we're back on the Colorado ballot. Now the United States Supreme Court has to go like, hmm, let's see. And they probably will want to do this because there's a general and primary election and it's a presidential election and it's gonna get gummed up if different states are going back on and back off and back on, wash on, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, and you have 50 states doing that, it's going to gum up election proceedings. So the United States Supreme Court is probably going to go, give me this, let's decide. But if they decide for Colorado that it's true and he is off the ballot, on Colorado, it's going to set the precedent for all the other states. And plus, it's kind of judging that what they call an insurrection on January 6th was an insurrection. What? I mean, the words, words are words and they have meanings. And look, that's what it says. They're even trying to say like, well, the co Constitution, paragraph 6, art Article 3 or whatever, uh, you know, 14, Article 3 says the office, you know, if someone took the oath of office, uh, officers cannot hold, they cannot hold office. So what, they're also trying to argue that the President of the United States wasn't included when they say could hold office. That doesn't mean President of the United States. That's, of course, it's the office of the President of the United States. When you are elected as the president, you are the officer of the office of the president of the United States. You are that officer. So it, yeah, it does. It's words and they're trying to, no, it doesn't. It doesn't specifically say, <laughs> so anyhow, so that's all going cuckoo. Um, but even better than all of that is UH Volleyball's back. <laughs> and they played last night and on televised on TV and they won. Three sets in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Against uh, Loyola. Yo, yo. I can't say it now. Loyola. I can't say it. Loyola. Loyola. I think that's it. Really strange, because I think that's the college my father went to at one point in time before he went to the Air Force. Anyways, here we go. The Warriors have set bars, and we have these guys, if you notice. There's there's Tread, Tread, Rosenthal. I think these are the new guys. Elu Choi. Now, Elu here is the little guy. So everyone else is like six foot six tall people they don't look tall because they're all tall and then there's like like um the hobbit <laughs> he's he, 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 but he's like he's going around here taking all these digs and then there's kurt um nut nutster nutster uh so middle block kurt nutsack here nutster nutster anyways they're all doing really well and um they're uh they kicked and they won and it's go bows all over again and they're filling some big shoes because national they won nationally a couple of years last time so big shoes to fill but they're they have big feet because they're tall <laughs> let's go to the news yeah the news, the news. oh it helps if you I, I swear i had it up i had it up I had it up, I swear. There it is. Okay, is that right? Okay, there you go. So here it is. Um, they're wondering about the population of the U.S. mainland. The <laughs> state in the nice uh, in the 50th state, Hawaii, we're the oldest. We're the oldest. Everyone's like 65 at least. 25, half quarter of the population. It's over 60, 60. 
I'm gonna be up there. I'm coming on. I'm coming on to ooh, 63. Oh my god, I I can't even believe I am that old. I am. Uh, well, I don't know dinosaurs. <laughs> UH rallies for a sweet. Um, yeah. So there they go. See, there they are. There's the Loyola. Uh, they're all block in here, and then these guys. And this is this is pretty funny. This guy here. Um, um, the, the, the Greek guy, Cyros, Cyros, Ciro, Spiros, Spiros Chakra, Chakra, stop. He's got some serious um, snarls going on. He'll smile when they, you know, make the shot and all that. Hey, I made the shot. But then he's like, the middle of shark. He's like, the, the pirate snarl. It's hilarious. It was a good, I was surprised. That was a good game to watch. I was sort of surprised in this area kind of thing and there's yeah i'm right here there's only one other section of the newspaper this guy playing golf see there they are again yay loy ola ola loy loy ola i said it right there there he is here's there's spiros with, with that snarl but he'll have that snarl not in the middle of hitting the ball like just walking down and turn and look at the other team snarl <laughs> It's very funny. I think it's funny. Anyways, <clears throat> you know what? Just, you know, easy. The front page. Okay. Relax. Remember? Time to relax. Think about the past. Remember 1970? Oh, that was a relaxing year. <laughs> it's relax. Just go out there and uh, go to this display and hang out with a big rock. <laughs> Charles Norwood of YUI and her children. I thought it was a classroom. A replica of Plymouth Rock, including the display about the pilgrims and, and the Plymouth colony and, and the, all, in the store at Alamoana Center to get shopping ready for Thanksgiving. Here's Plymouth Rock, and that's what boats look like. And there's, there's Columbus. Columbus, 1492, sailed the ocean blue. He's our hero, Columbus. <laughs> if you look at archaeology, there's always pre Columbian, Columbian. It's about Columbus. <laughs> it's changed a lot. And there's like elaborate Amezaku sweets soothing the soul. And oh, sweets and sugar. And the word of the week for Hatsu Yume, dreams of the first and second night of the new year, which are said to reveal one's fortune of the year. Hatsu Yume. I forgot. I forgot what my first dream. I don't even know how to remember. What was my first dream? It was my fortune. Is the Middle East dangerous, spinning out of control? Absolutely. It's already spun out of control. Now, I guess I, I got I gotta say something about Middle East spinning out of control here for a second. It's really here's the Middle East spinning out of control. It's a whole bunch of proxies or these puppet groups. And basically, they're Arab, and basically, they're supported by Iran in the background at some point. So, from the south, there's the Hamas, and the north, the Hezbollah, and from there's the East Bank and West Bank and the South Bank, and the and and they're all trying to destroy Israel because they don't want Israel at all. They don't want two states. They want no state for Israel. <laughs> they just want to destroy it. Iran's behind a big bulk of it. And that's why the warships from the US are down there because they don't want Iran to interfere. And there's already drones and things smashing a ruse. And basically, Iran, this is my just to just say it's a viewpoint listening to some of these generals talk. Iran's behind the whole freaking mess. A lot of it. These groups are acting, they could be acting on their own, you know, when they strike, but. Iran, in the long run, so far away, is the 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 one that's going to be a problem later. Back to that way. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, and Mickey Mouse turned 100 years old and now is in the public domain. Anybody? Only the original. <laughs> Steamboat Willie. <laughs> so it's horror movies and everything. And here in the political cartoon. No one knows when or how it happened, but when what is known in the 23rd century is that there was a perfect storm of Mickey Mouse being released into the public domain combined with the rapid advancement 
of AI and robotics that led to our terrible demise as a species in a world with a mouse. <laughs> it's big. All right. It's okay. Just okay. We know. It's a steamboat Willie in a in a horror movie. Okay. Here we go. This is the one we should do. Why lawmakers should allow Powerball? Why can't Hawaii? It's why can't Hawaii participate in Powerball? I think scroll, 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 scroll. Law, 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 shh, lawmakers think they are protecting the people from the vices of gambling, but people who have been gambling issues are probably shush, goes to. But people who have been gambling issues are probably already engaging in that activity. If anything, we should have protection from lawmakers. They often cause more harm than good. And I'm talking about the lawmakers on local, state, and national levels. John Barry Punho. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's the lawmakers. Just say we should have Powerball. It would be great. And it's not going to turn Hawaii into Las Vegas. Imagine every once in a while someone in Hawaii is like a multi-millionaire. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be cool. I love you. That would be cool. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Uh, it's Thursday. Um, all right. Um, aloha. Aloha. I'm waiting for the rain. I'm waiting for the riders on the storm. I'm waiting for it getting soaked. Aloha. It's gonna be wet, wet, wet. Aloha to you.